Hi everybody! Okay, so I'm going to do a haul today. Um, I got some birthday money and I just ordered some stuff. Let's be honest. I just bought stuff. <laughs> um, but so, yeah. Let's go ahead and show you what I got. I got some things from Ulta, Sephora, and I have my julep and some Shop Lately to show you. So I have just kind of like a plethora of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up and get all this stuff out of this bag so I don't crinkle and drive y'all crazy. Okay, so first off, I'll start with the things I got some from Sephora. I just got two things. Do mind my hair. It's like negative 24 degrees Fahrenheit wind chill freezing wizard. <laughs> wizard. It's a freezing wizard outside. <laughs> It's our freezing blizzard outside. What am I trying to say? So this is what my hair looks like after being outside, shoveling, and stuff like that. So, do you mind it? It's crazy. So, I'm going to start with Sephora. I only got two things from Sephora. Um, the first thing I was, I saw about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting blushes. Yeah. <laughs> And you know I'm a blush gal. I was going to get two of them, but like as I was checking out, one of them became unavailable um, or was sold out, which is probably better for my wallet and okay with me. So I got the one that I was most excited for. It looked like the most pigmented of them. Um, these Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes are $35. That's expensive. But it's supposed to be a truly multi-dimensional blush that enhances cheeks with seamless soft focus color and a natural radiant finish. Um, so I got the color Radiant Magenta. And the packaging on these are really nice. Kind of like a... I don't even know what you would call that. A pewter gold, silvery gold package. And the inside is mixed with part blush and part of the ambient lighting powders. So it's kind of like a marble effect. The pink part is the magenta, like the blush part, and then the lighter color is the radiant um, ambient lighting powder. So I haven't played with this yet. I will have to start playing with it, and of course I will keep you guys updated in like a Friday favorites or fails, or you'll see it at some point if I love it or if I hate it. <laughs> Next I got a Bite Beauty um, matte lip crayon in the color Grape. And it's just a lip pencil like this and it has a little color indicator here that it's Grape. This honestly kind of like in more life looks more fuchsia in comparison. Um, it's not quite as purple as I was hoping it to be. With like flash photography it's this purple color but real life it's kind of just like a really bright kind of purpley fuchsia, but it's still pretty. I still like it. And then since it was my birthday, I got a little birthday kit. Um, this is from Makeup Forever. It just comes with a lipstick and a mascara, the Smoky Extravagant Mascara, and the Rouge Artist Natural Number no. 9 little baby lipstick. From Ulta, I just had some birthday cash I felt like blowing, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, so, I went in there and spent some money. Um, so I saw NYX had some new stuff out. They didn't have all their new collection, um, but I did pick up a couple things. So I got two baked blushes from NYX. They come in this cute, kind of big, bulky packaging, but it's cute. It has little bows on it. And it looks like that. And this color is Foreplay, and this color is Spanish Rose. Um, so I got like a peach and a pink. <laughs> Do I need more blush? No, but I had to have some. This foreplay color, um, mine doesn't feel as soft as the tester. But anyways, they had testers out. And so there's the foreplay. There's what the foreplay one looks like. And then the Spanish rose, more of like a light shimmery baby pink. So Spanish rose and foreplay. And that's that Bite Beauty lip crayon and grape. So those were cute. They were like $5.99, $6.99, somewhere in there. They were $6.99. Um, but I had my Ulta 20% off coupon, so I got all this stuff for 20% off. So that was a good deal. And then last from NYX, they had the Infinite Shadow Sticks. Um, and I got the color Flush, and it's just kind of a peachy pink all right there and it's very pretty and these are supposed to be really long lasting 
Um, they're like the NYX Jumbo Pencil, but they don't, they're not supposed to crease or transfer. They're supposed to be, um, they're supposed to be more long-lasting than the NYX Jumbo Pencils. And these, and these were actually quite expensive. They're $8.99 for a pencil. That's kind of expensive. I didn't realize that. I was just buying. <laughs> okay. okay, and then I wandered over. I wanted to get some new brow products. I don't know why. I just really wanted to get like one of the dip down brow pomades from Anastasia and oh my gosh like all these colors. I got the color blonde. Do I look blonde? No. Um, but all the colors were super super duper dark. Like really dark. Like there's really like no in between shades between blonde and then like ultra dark. Like the three other brown auburn and chocolate brown like they're so dark that I didn't want my eyebrows to look so harsh um, so I, I'm planning on getting highlights here soon so I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and get the blonde wood because my eyebrows are already pretty dark and I don't want my eyebrows to look harsh or like too drawn on so I got that and then I haven't played with it yet but I've heard really good things about it and I just also got the Anastasia brush um, to go with it uh, just a double-ended brush that's uh, like slanted on one side and it has the spoolie on the other. So I got those for my brows for when I get my hair highlighted and hopefully it should be a good match. It should be. It'll be good. And, and then I've always wanted this color but I've just never bought it because Butter London is expensive. <laughs> but since I was just like, hey, I got birthday money, I'm just going to buy stuff. <laughs> I got this and this is the Black Knight. And that's what it looks like. It's just a sparkly, dark black in color with multi-dimensional glitters. I love it. It's so pretty. I've wanted it for a long time. Now it's mine, and I'm happy. I like it. Yay! Okay, and then last couple things from Ulta. Um, I got a Essence eyeshadow. I think these are new. They're called the Metal Glam. There's like only two colors. This is Frosted Apple. And it's just a really pretty, I don't know, I don't know why they call it apple. I don't think it reminds me of an apple. Just a really pretty kind of, almost reminds me of Max Trax. And I kind of think that's just a overlay on top of it there. So it looks like that shimmer glitter part goes away. But it's really pretty. And even without the shimmer glitter part, it's still very... Um, shiny and beautiful. And that was only $2.99, so Essence is a really good deal. There they are swatched. They look pretty much the same with the overlay and without. I saw Emily Noel do a video on the Prestige um, Total Intensity eyeshadows, and this one just caught my eye. I have it on today, and that's all I have on. I just have it packed on on my lid and blended out into the crease, so it's one of those great shadows that you can create like a whole eye look with. This is in the color Bewitched. It just kind of looks like a silvery taupe, but it has like a green duochrome to it. I mean, it ventured me away from wearing my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette today, so there it is there. So you can see with the different light, it changes that duochrome. It's beautiful! And, and these were $6.99 per shadow, so pretty. Okay, and then I thought I would show you a couple things my mom got me from Kohl's. Um, she knows I love the Lauren Conrad line. Um, so she got me these cute little bangles. These cute little, like, rhinestone ear... Like, what are they? Acorns. Cute little rhinestone gold tone acorns. So cute. Totally up my alley. My mom knows me so well. And then these cute little dangly cross earrings. They're kind of like the ones that um, swoop through. Like they don't have a back, you just put the little string through. Yeah, so those. Oh, I think I forgot to show you guys this. Yeah, I also at Ulta, I got a Prestige um, Clear Brow Gel. It's called the... Lululemon, mama, I can't talk this weather. Let's bring me down, Let's bring me down. I forgot to mention, I got this at Ulta too. This is from Prestige, um, and this is the Brow Perfection Revitalizing Clear Brow Gel. I don't think I like this. 
I don't think it really holds my eyebrows in place too much. It's like way too, I don't know. It kind of just reminds me of like a clear mascara, like not necessarily a brow gel that's going to help control the eyebrows and keep them in place. Um, so I don't know about that yet. Okay, then, Shop Lately. Um, I got a problem with Shop Lately. <laughs> I keep buying stuff, um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm really enjoying the things I got. So most of this is from Glit and Gleam. This one item is from Lily Wang. Um, so those seem to be my two favorite sellers so far. Um, so this is just a beautiful necklace. And this is called the Heart of the Gem Necklace, and it was $14. I mean, it's a good deal, so I don't know why. But look how pretty this is going to be for springtime. Just a beautiful, nice bib necklace with um, some cobalt blue and sky blue and a nice Kelly green mixed in there. So pretty. I love it. $14. Heck yeah. Okay, and then I got a couple things from Glint and Gleam. I actually got a pair of sunglasses. I love, like, I love sunglasses. I don't like expensive sunglasses. I just like buying new ones here and there, you know, like, stylish or in fad. I, and these... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never really worn just like circle round glasses before. Um, these are the mod for polka dot. These are the mod for polka dot glasses, and they are in a blue color, like a dusty blue. They also had like a mint green and I think like a pink. But I just went for the dusty blue because my eyes are kind of like a dusty gray blue, and I just I don't know. I was digging them. It was a different color for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? You like them? They're a little different for me, but I think they'd be fun for like the spring and summer, you know? They're $16 from Glit and Gleam. Okay, and then jewelry from Glit and Gleam. Necklaces and a ring. My brain does not focus. My brain's not working today. I swear the snow just messes me up. It's just so cold, guys. It's like bitter cold. Like you instantly go outside and like your nostrils and your throat and like everything is like like you just freeze up. It's terrible. <laughs> so this first thing is the Cup of Joe ring in gold and it was $11. And it's just a little open ring that has, this has a little coffee cup on it with some like steam. Or it could be like a hot cocoa ring. It's cute. It's so cute. I love that. And this is $11. I think I already said that. And then I just wanted a plain chain, like a plain kind of chunky gold chain. So this is the LinkedIn Class necklace, and they also have it in silver. Um, but I just thought it was really cute, kind of different, and I like how it lays flat. So just be, you know, a little, a little statement piece, a little nice gold chain. And I got this beautiful necklace, this necklace. I'm so ready for spring and summer. <laughs> So this necklace just like screamed to me springtime, and it's the La Vie Bonhomme. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll have it written out. La Vie Bohem. I don't know. I can't speak in our language, but look at that. <laughs> this is beautiful. It has that coral color and then like the pastel purple and gray. Just a beautiful combination of colors. And this just screams like springtime, like pair with an Easter dress and it's beautiful. It just makes me want spring and summer, like pretty flowers blooming and birds chirping um, and the snow to go away. <laughs> so I had to have that and this was um, $26. So it was a little bit more pricey but I just, I loved it. I needed to have it. It needed to be mine. And it's mine now and I love it. Okay, last but not least, um, I been forgetting to show you guys my julep boxes. So I get julep monthly. Um, it's a monthly nail polish subscription and lately they've been throwing in like um, beauty or yeah beauty makeup. So I got the box. Forget which box I got. I want to say it's like the boho glam. I don't know. Usually it comes with a sticker on it that tells me what it is but I can't remember. I can't remember what I picked. Um, but there's different styles you can choose from. So this one came with three nail polishes. I don't know. So I got three nail polishes. Um, one in the color 
Oh yeah, this is the Boho Glam. It says it on the back of the nail polish. Okay, I figured out which box I got. Um, so I got the Boho Glam, and this first color is called Rooney, and it's just kind of like a... I don't know what you would call that. A taupey brown? And then this one is Cameron, which is just kind of a sparkly purple metallic sh color. And it looks like I added on one. <laughs> this one's from the Bombshell Collection, and this is called Love. It's like a white gold iridescent duochrome with like red sparkle to it. That's a hard one to explain, but it's really pretty. And that's what that one looks like. And then they launched some cream eyeshadows. So um, one of them comes with a box and then I added one on. I don't know why. Do I need more cream eyeshadows? No, but I just wanted to try them. So the first one I got is Dusty Taupe Shimmer. It's an eye sheen liquid eyeshadow. Um, so it comes in a little box like this. And the, little, the jar is kind of tiny. Oh, okay, it's really tiny. It's like a gel eyeliner. And this is in the color Dusty Taupe. Consistency, I don't even know. Kind of, I feel like MAC has something like this, but I'm not sure. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to try them out. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. If they suck, they'll be in a fail <laughs> in my Friday favorites. And then this next color is Warm Fig Shimmer. They're strange. They're kind of like a moussey <laughs> gel. I don't know what they are. <laughs> They're different. They're pretty. So there they are swatched. Um, this one is the Dusty Taupe and this is the Fig Shimmer. Um, so you can see they have nice pigmentation. They're just kind of an interesting consistency, something I haven't tried before. I'm having a really hard time talking, guys. I'm sorry. Hopefully I wasn't too much of a drag in this video. I just feel tired. This weather just makes me want to take a nap. <laughs> so um, that was my haul. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything I have to show. So just some stuff I picked up recently with some birthday money. <laughs> so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye everybody.